Hi guys, in this tutorial I will show you how to create a simple plastic shader in Vray for Cinema 4D. So let's jump in. The first thing to do is create a new shader. Press the button Create, Vray Bridge, Vray Advanced Material. This is the basic shadering for Vray. Double click on it. And we have to create a simple plastic, so name it simple plastic. Okay, the first thing to do is to set up a color to see how he react on on the shader. And uh, to do this, I am going to use the red color that works good for me, and I create a 100% red with this value here. The second thing to do is uh, create the specular of uh, the plastic uh, material to have a nice uh, reflection and specular channel on it to simulate the translucent um, the reflection and uh, of these materials. <coughs> to do this I'm going to Activate specular layer number one, and this is act activate my reflection. And after this, I'm going to set up a brightness of about 90 percent, a fresnel higher air of about 1.3. Okay, that's work good for me. And After these uh, simple settings, I'm going to apply it on my test sphere here and I delete this to brown tag on my shader. Okay, now I'm going to see what happened after the render. So, render to picture viewer. Okay. Ok, the render is finished and uh, as you can see I can see my, the reflection of the light of my studio here and uh, the plane of the limbo and the back of the um, shadow ball <coughs> in my reflection channel. My reflections are perfect in this moment, this is a very very shiny plastic look um, but uh, if you want to create uh, some other effects of plastic you uh, can uh, <coughs> modify the um, specular channel in my V-Ray advanced material to create some variation. So let's try this. Okay, uh, close this picture viewer and with control and uh, left mouse button I duplicate my shader and I create a second variation of my simple plastic of about a glossy so G of 90% so this is mean I go to decrease my glossiness so my render uh, won't uh, don't uh, uh, stay perfect in my final shot <coughs> and I'm going to put here a value of 0 0.9 it's uh, equivalent to 90% ok, press enter button <coughs> and try the, uh, this, uh, this setting ok I forgot to Assign, assign it to my sphere so I go with the left mouse button I'm going to assign it to my subdivision surface sphere here and now let's see what happens in my render I can delete this 
and wait for the render. Okay, good, the render is done, and as you can see, if I switch from the previous and the current render, the second one is more realistic because the reflections are good <coughs> and very high in this moment, but this, this blur, blur um, of the glossiness uh, um, give uh, it a very more natural effects that in this case are too perfect this is a problem with 3D because uh, it's too much perfect while in, meanwhile in nature this is no perfection so the reflection glossiness value uh, allow us to replicate this uh, most realistic effect uh, of, uh, of the reflection. Okay, um, now I will show you some uh, other settings of this plastic material to see the difference with uh, uh, this, uh, this value of reflection glossiness. So we can now duplicate it again and try the reflection glossiness of about 75% so I'm going to uh, override this value of about 0 0.75 and apply this new material on my sphere and see what happens Okay, as you can see, decreasing, uh, by decreasing this value of uh, glossiness, uh, my reflections are most opaque in, uh, in the final render. And this uh, value can simulate uh, a good uh, matte plastic in real life. And uh, now I'm going to try a lower a lowest value of uh, about uh, zero um, fifty five percent and see what happens zero point fifty five in the reflection glossiness and apply this to my uh, shader ball render to picture viewer and see what this look like. Okay, as you can see, uh, this lowest reflection is it's mean a fully opaque material that uh, simulate the plaster plastic uh, very very uh, clay a clay material something like this so for this tutorial is uh, is everything it's it's all and uh, I hope you enjoy it and follow me on YouTube and uh, on my Instagram channel by Mabel design and uh, I hope you enjoy it with my lessons. So, bye!